Santa Barbara schools start two weeks from today, but the school board is looking ahead to the governor's office. This morning, members held a press conference urging the legislature to fix the cap on the so-called rainy day fund. News Channel 3 reporter De Senator De, De Los Santos joins us live in Senator. A proposed bill and a new cap would uh, cut school funds drastically. Yeah, that's right, CJ. Several school board members up and down the coast had nothing good to say about this bill. They believe that it will lead to layoffs as well as cutting some necessary programs. I'm asking that we repeal this bad law. School board members from Santa Barbara, Pleasant Valley, Ventura, and Atascadero gathered to speak out on their concerns about money. Last year, the legislature passed a law which districts believe prevents them from saving for a rainy day, such as the next economic downturn. It put into law a cap on what we can reserve in funding, and that is flies in the face of um, giving us the authority to uh, spend money, save money, and allocate funds to our needs. We believe that it's not the job of Sacramento to tell us what we should be doing with the money for our local schools. School boards are the ones who work in concert with our local parents, our community, to make sure that we're budgeting responsibly. According to the law, the maximum reserve schools can save up to 6%, eliminating millions of dollars of savings across the state. If the state puts a dollar into that reserve fund, we have to spend ours. So we can't have our own rainy day fund, which sounds illogical. Rainy day savings are used to pay for school items such as technology, remodeling, and salaries. During the height of the recession, Ventura's district used that money to save jobs. We transferred $5 million for three consecutive years out of our reserves into our general fund. And with that, we kept our programs intact. We kept our employees working. If this is not repealed, we would never be able to do that again. Before rainy day funds, jobs were lost, programs were cut, and supplies were scarce. Local board members are trying to avoid a repeat. The headlines at that time, school board votes to eliminate 190 teachers. We sent 181 inter-district kids out of our district and said you can't be here any longer. I, for one, don't want to see these headlines again. Legislature go the legislature goes back to session on Monday. Then at that point, they have about a month to fix the law. Live in Santa Barbara, Senator Los Santos, News Channel 3. Okay, keep us posted. Thanks, Senator Ray. Well,